name of the party that I'm representing is the Mature Australia Party. It's um, Mature Australia is a new player on the scene. In a little over a week when you walk into the polling booth, two things are going to happen. First of all, you're going to be amazed at just how big the Senate ballot form is. It's huge. It may even remind you of something. Then you're going to start voting. And most of us probably already know who we're going to put one against, maybe even two. But above the line, there's more than 30 to choose from and you have to pick at least six. Below the line, there's even more to choose from and you have to pick at least 12. So who are these people that you're going to put the three, the four, the five, the six against? Chances are most of us will be throwing a dart at a dartboard blindfolded. I mean, who are these people and what are their policies? Elderly Australians are doing it very tough at the moment uh, and the numbers of elderly Australians are growing uh, exponentially as the baby boomers age. Okay, let's get some wind in our hair. Lyndall Denny is a Senate candidate for the Mature Australian Party. The 57-year-old makes her living driving big rigs and now she wants to help drive the country and fight ageism. Predominantly we're looking after, looking after the over 50s uh, to do with pensions, keeping them up to the level of uh, CPI increases, uh, ensuring that the self-funded retirees aren't hit by the government and by taxes. Daryl Bothy is her South Australian running mate. They want to particularly bring attention to ageism and employment. It's a nightmare actually. Uh, I've heard lots of people, lots of people telling me that um, it's just impossible to find a job so they end up spending so many years on the dole and then just rolling into, uh, rolling into retirement. 